Hey guys, it's Sam, and yes, in this video, Mobile Substrate was officially updated with 64-bit support for devices like the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and even the iPad Mini with Retina Display. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at top 4 tweaks for your iPhone 5S. Now the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys today, I already showed you in a previous video, but it has been updated to support the iPhone 5S. It is called Switch Spring, and I really just love this tweak. It's an all-around great tweak, so here's what it does. If you go into your multitasking view and swipe over, swipe up on your homepage, you can see you've got an option that says restart springboard, restart or quit all of your apps. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is just you quit all your apps, it will automatically close all of your apps in your multitasking just like that. Now if you go back, swipe up one more time, you can see you have the option to respring. Now I'm just going to demonstrate that right here and you could respring your device just by swiping up on your home screen card. If you haven't already downloaded this tweak, I would definitely recommend it. Next up, we will be taking a look at a tweak called No News is Good News. Now, this is a very interesting tweak because of how it does it and what it actually does on your device. So basically, here's a newsstand icon. Uh, I don't use it at all personally myself. Now, if you use it, you probably don't want to use this tweak. But for those of you who don't use newsstand like myself, you can see it's completely empty for me when I opened it. I don't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Cydia and search for a tweak called No News is Good News. Now, when I'm searching for this, I'm going to go ahead and install it respring and then when I go ahead and unlock my device again you can see that the new stand icon is completely vanished I'm not it's no trickery by me I'm not hiding it in a folder where you guys can't see it this tweak completely removes it from your device now if you want to get new stand back for whatever reason you can just go ahead and uninstall that tweak it's that simple but for those of you who don't use new stand I would definitely recommend this tweak for you now next up we have one of the coolest tweaks ever created in my opinion. It has recently been updated for iOS 7 and it also works with the iPhone 5S. So as you've seen me earlier throughout this video, I've been scrolling throughout my iPhone pages and you can see the effects look pretty crazy because Barrel adds these awesome looking effects to your iPhone pages when you're looking through them. You can see here that just completely transforms your device. So if we go into the Barrel settings, you've got a whole list of all the modes that you can choose. I'm just going to choose one random one, close out. You can see the effect is different every time you go and pick a new effect, head back to your home screen and that new effect will be there and as you can see they look crazy awesome. So I would definitely recommend this tweak like all my other tweaks in this video because these are my top tweaks for the iPhone 5S and devices with the A7 chip but remember all of these will work on older devices like the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4 and even the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now the last tweak I will be showing you guys in this video is probably my favorite tweak of all time and it is called Zeppelin. Now as you can see as I'm showing you on the home screen, I have what it looks like Apple's default iOS device where there's no carrier whatsoever, it just shows my cellular coverage and then my Wi-Fi signal strength. So I'm going to show you guys how you can get this effect and many others. If we go ahead and open settings after you've installed Zeppelin, scroll all the way down to where we can find the Zeppelin settings where all of our other tweaks are listed. Let's go ahead and tap Zeppelin and then you can see you've got the enabled and first thing I want to show you is you can enable carrier text which is pretty cool as well. If I click on carrier text, I'm just going to enter my name for whatever random reason, hit save, it will automatically show that whenever Zeppelin is disabled. However, if we want to get rid of that carrier text and just have it say whatever your normal carrier is supposed to say, go ahead and just go back on carrier text, delete everything that you had and click the save button. However, if you do want a cool looking icon, that is possible as well. Instead of clicking on the carrier text button, we're going to click on the option that shows us all of the logos that are present in these Zeppelin settings. Go ahead and just click on theme. And then look at all the different things that you can show. As you can see, I'm just going to click on a bunch of random ones just to demonstrate all the different things that you can see with Zeppelin. And as you can see, there's quite a lot. And uh, apart from these, there's hundreds of packages, even probably thousands of packages on Cydia with tons and tons of Zeppelin logos that you can download as well. But keep in mind, those packages on Cydia may not be updated for iOS 7, so be careful when installing those. And once you've picked out the one that you like, make sure you go back to your main settings in Zeppelin and click Enable. And there you go, you've got that great, cool-looking Zeppelin icon on your iOS device. So guys, those are my top tweaks for your iPhone 5S, iPad Mini, and iPad Air. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're interested in more Cydia tweaks for all your devices, make sure you do hit the subscribe button because I pretty much cover all things Cydia on my channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I really hope you did learn something new, but thank you very much for taking time to watch this video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.